Nicola. Got nothing to say to you. This is silly. It's embarrassing. Leave me alone. This is a small village. We're bound to bump into each other occasionally. I don't think you're even trying to keep out of my way. Well, I can't see the point. There's worse things that could happen. And you did seem to enjoy it at the time. Only because you got me drunk. We're both adults. No, I'm an adult. You're an animal. I just want us to be friends. I thought I'd made myself quite clear. I don't want to be friends. I don't want you to ever speak to me again. Hi, guys. Mind if I join you? Not much point, really. I'm just leaving. Oh, hope it's not on my account. Busy day. something I said. Well, I'm pleased to see you. I haven't had any customers all day. Oh, well, washing up's threatening to take over the house, so it's either make a start on that or come and have breakfast here. Is that from Donna? You really don't want to know. No, you're right. Um, beans on toast and coffee, please. Coming up. What did she say, Bob? Well, I can't remember, really. You know, it was just a quick note. She likes Essex. She's settling into a new job. I'm really pleased for her. Marlon, for what it's worth, I wish she was still with you, and I think she's made a big mistake. Can I have a fried egg and a couple of sausages with that? Together. I mean, they didn't want to be when they're alive, so they still won't now. I don't know. I don't really believe in heaven and all that stuff. Well, there's got to be something. They just can't be gone forever. Sometimes. I see you in my dreams. You think that's because I'm crazy at all? Because I want to believe she's still there. You're not crazy, Vic. Maybe that's the way people do live on. Even if it's only through us. I want it to be more than that. I've always wanted to believe she's up there watching over me. And now you will be too. Because otherwise I'd be so alone. You're not alone, Vic. You've still got me. And right now I need you. What Val? <laughs> you know what Val's like. If you don't stop her, she'll turn the funeral into a pantomime. <laughs> Let's get home, yeah. as you wanted. Still well, that's worse than I thought. Well, do you want me to get Mrs Aldred on the phone? Yeah, I just need a minute to work out how to break the bad news. Give her a bill and tell her a dog's about to cark it. Well, we're not all as insensitive as you, are we? <gasps> yeah, I forgot. You're really nice to old ladies and little fluffy animals, but when it comes to your mates, you treat them like dirt. Have you got a problem? Yeah, you bet. The way you've behaved to Marlon. Well, you know my reasons. He is a broken man who used to be your best mate. Now, if you can't get over it to help him through, then you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Here. Welcome home, Annie. Thank you. I've often talked of coming home for a visit. I wish it hadn't been like this, though. So. Let me get those. Oh, thanks. Well, we're all going to miss me. The village looks the same. It's just the people who've changed. Though there are some you'll remember. Oh, yes. Some folk never change. <laughs> Good to see you too, Annie. <laughs> Put kettle on, Diane. I'm parched. Please? Yeah? Have you heard from our Debbie? 
Oh, she called while I was at the airport. Yeah, but she, she, she left a message for me, right, like that? Zach didn't say. Oh. But she did promise to call back this afternoon to speak to me. Hey, listen, it'd be great if I could if I could be there, you know. I don't suppose Zach's going to let me flame me out, is he? Well, Zach won't be there. He's busy. So if she wants to talk to you, it's fine by me. much of your security, mate. You left your front door unlocked. It's part of a cunning plan to get a bit of company. <laughs> didn't work, though. Last burglar who turned up wouldn't stay. He said I didn't have anything worth nicking. Right. Well, you can't trust criminals anymore. Not like you used to. Anyway. Do you have any glasses? Do... Yeah, yeah. Forget it. Oh. I didn't expect you to be so picky, seeing as soon as you stick your hand up a cow's bum as part of your job. You've got to draw the line somewhere, haven't you? Yeah. Cheers. Mm. What are you doing here? Just at a loose end. I'm going to spend the day with that Angelina and Brad, but they had to call the cash and carry. It's a coincidence. Beyonce pulled me off with the same excuse. <laughs> Suppose we're stuck with each other then. Oh no! <laughs> Cheers. Hey, you Grant. Oh, it's good to see you. I wish I'd been out to Spain before. There's so many questions I need to ask you. It's been a long day. Your grand's tired. Never too tired for my granddaughter. If you're worried, I can tell you, her dad wasn't in pain when he passed away. Oh, I'm glad, but there's so much more I need to know. I'll go and try Robert again. Do you ever talk about me? Of course. You were the apple of his eye. It'd been gone so long, I was already started to forget about me. Neither of us could do that. In fact, we were talking about you the night before he died. Really? Yes. After all, you saved my life. What do you mean? He must have told you the story. You heard about the plane crash. We lost my husband and Mark, and the farm was devastated. For a while, your dad thought he'd lose me, too. I was on life support for weeks, and it looked like nothing was going to wake me up. Then he brought his new baby daughter to see me. Me? Yes. He remember putting your tiny hand in mine and me opening my eyes. So, you see, you're very special to both of us. So, um, what are we doing today? Whatever you want. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Buy me a drink. I thought I wasn't allowed to even talk to you. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, Jimmy, you say some hilarious things. <laughs> Do I? Am I missing something here, or have I been forgiven? Oh, of course. Now get me a gin and tonic. Large gin tea over here. My granddad mentioned you were looking for a gamekeeper. It would be very grateful if you could recommend someone. Well, how about me? Your grandfather seemed to think that you'd be too busy helping him on the farm. And then we need someone straight away. Well, I'll do what I can to help him get set up, but... Well, I'm not going to let it get in the way of my career. The state works what I do. Have you told him that? Well, I thought I'd wait until you offered me the job. <laughs> you are confident. Is that your CV? I'm just what you're looking for. Are you? Well, we'll think about it. And while we do, you really should have a discussion with your grandfather. Well, I can handle him and you won't find anyone better. <laughs> Maybe not. Thanks for your time. Goodbye. Hmm. A bit cocky. Rather good-looking, though. You're not allowed to mention that these days. It verges on sexual <laughs> harassment. Quite the opposite, my darling. I thought we'd give him a job so it would stop Katie flirting with you. Hiya, Debbie, love. How are you doing? I'm getting through it best I can. It's been easier since Gunnar bought in that package trade. If there's out else you need, just ask. Well, an escape plan would be handy. Oh, we'd get you out, love, if we could. I'm starting to feel like it'll be years before that happens. Don't say that. Yeah, the only thing that's really going to change anything is if Jasmine turns up and Lisa, we all know that that's not going to happen. 
I've got someone here who thinks they could. It's Eli. He really wants to talk to you. Oh, yeah. Go on and warn me. Put him on. <laughs> you all right, Debs? Can't stop. There's a key for the phone, but... but uh, you get yourself around to Tug Girl and Gwendolyn will tell you exactly what I've decided. saying we can be friends now. As long as that's all it is. I'm never getting into the back of a truck with you again. Don't worry. That's not my agenda either. And promise you'll never try to take advantage of me anywhere else. I think I can manage. You're not that irresistible. Nor are you. And that's what's good about this relationship. We both know it can never go anywhere. Just good friends, then. Friends. And now that's settled, you owe me. Eh? Well, thanks to you, I could have lost my job yesterday turning up late and looking a mess. I need to do something to impress the wilds and quickly. Your dad wrote up some proposals to help maximise the potential of the estate. I think I've still got them somewhere. Hmm, excellent. Yeah, but his presentation's always rubbish. I'll put them in a leather-bound folder. That'll impress them. <laughs> You're not welcome here anymore. Yeah, well, that's not your call, is it, man? No, it's Debbie's. I'm just doing what she asked. Yeah, and I bet you're flaming loving it, aren't you? You've been waiting to get rid of me long enough. After what you and Jasmine did to my granddaughter, you deserve this. Now, clear it off! Oh, you can't do this, man. I'm doing it. Oh, if you're worried about your stuff... Here. I've bagged it up for you. No need to thank me. Zach... Have an art, mate. Let me stay over a few more nights. I've got nowhere to go. Well, that's soon sorted. Smack a copper. Yeah, then you'll get a bed in the nick, same as our Debbie. The difference is, you belong there. Yes, we thought that Andy, Darren, Zach and Sam could carry the coffin. Depends if Andy turns up. Why wouldn't he be there? No reason. He's... he's upset. No, he'll, he'll be there. And, uh, did you have any more thoughts on hymns? Guide me, oh, our great redeemer was one of his favourites. And mine. Excellent. I'm sure the church will be full. Oh, Jack was very loved in the village. He was never one for pomp and ceremony, so we should try and keep it as informal as possible. Exactly. We're celebrating his life, as well as mourning his death. Ah! Did you manage to find us a new gamekeeper yet? Or did you get hijacked in another truck? I've been working hard all day. Well, I haven't seen any sign of it. Anyway, forget about the gamekeeper. Looks like we found one ourselves. You know, if you want to continue working here, you really need to buck up your ideas. That's what I've been trying to do. Which is why I've spent ages producing new ideas for the estate. Thought you'd be pleased. I'll make some coffee while you have a look at them. Have I misjudged her? Hmm. Well, certainly looks very professional. Andy? No sign of him upstairs either. Maybe he's in the fields. Or maybe he just doesn't want to be found. He's upset. Why does everyone keep making excuses for him? Because I know Jack wouldn't want me to give up on him. He'd want me to try and keep the family together. Well, I'm not wasting any more time on Andy. I don't care where he is. I don't care if I never see him again. I know he would have wanted to come home at the end. I'm glad he thought about the village like that. This land was in his blood. And he had unfinished business here. Oh, between him and Diane, you mean? You always hope they get back together. 
And just hearing that would be of some comfort to her. She felt the same. Well, he knew she had a lot to cope with. And we could see when Andy came over last year that his marriage was in trouble. Yes, um, most unfortunate business. Which everyone seems anxious not to talk to me about. Chas, Chas, Zach's from me out again. Yeah, I know, he told us. Well, it, hey, well, you can have a word of what? After you grasped our devs? Mm, you must be joking. No, hang on, be reasonable, right? Listen to me. I am some shit bodies about that. I've risked a lot that night, you know, and if I ain't said anything, it'd be me that's flaming serving time now, wouldn't it? You served time before. Debbie's just a kid. Mate, listen, you could fix up your room for tonight, couldn't you? Do it and you'll lose your job. Yeah, it's not really up to me, mate. Why don't you try to be me? No, because I've got I've got a I've got a cash flow situation, and that. Oh, looks like you'll be experiencing a night underneath the stars. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, I think I've had too much. You can never have too much if you're drinking to forget. What was trying to forget? You don't remember. Well, if you mean Donna, I kicked her out. I'm already over her. You're right. I believe you. I think there's somebody at the door. Hmm? Oh, I don't want to see anyone. I don't think they're going to go away. Might be your neighbour. I haven't got any. This is all on its own, just like me. <laughs> well, on, Marlon. Stop walking about now, mate. Let us in. Stay alive. Just when you think things can't get any worse. Have you spoken to Robert? I left a message. He could have changed his number for all we know. He only ever cared about himself. Just like Andy. I understand how you feel about the way Andy's behaving. But it's best not to say too much in front of your gran. She's entitled to know the truth. She's an old lady. She's lost her son. We can't give her something else to worry about. So she's too old to know the truth about Andy? Like I was too young to know the truth about my mum? There's always some reason to lie in this family. Is that what you think of us? I've been brought up on lies my whole life. It's gone on so long, I don't even know what's true anymore. Don't know if you loved my dad. I loved him with all my heart. I wish I'd been with him at the end. So do I. If I could turn back the clock and change what happened, I would. It's too late for that. It hurts me as much as it hurts you. I never stopped loving your dad. And even if you don't want to hear it, I don't believe he ever stopped loving me. Some love stories don't have a happy ending. There. I've told you the truth now. What do you want, Eli? So I have a question, that I've been worried about it, so, I've, you know, I've come to see her, yeah. You didn't have to bring all your worldly goods. What? I've brought them because I'm going to move in, eh? Which is just as well, seeing as you're obviously boozing your flaming life away, lad. You've been thrown out, haven't you? Do you always think the worst of me? Come on, I'll get the truth out of Chaz anyway. Yes, Patrick, I have been thrown out. Hang on, listen. It is a lucky coincidence, man, because it just means I can devote all my attention now. I can just look after you, can't I? I don't want your attention. I don't want you or you'll just make it worse. Rubbish. It's absolute nonsense. I'm exactly what you need right now. Have you got any more of these here? You've drunk at all. Right. Ha no, because you've no forward planning. None at all. So why don't you go to the wool pack and get some more, Patrick? Right. Why can't you go? What? Because I'm devoting all my flaming time to cheering him up. Always has to be a scene. Maybe all those things you said were true. Maybe you did love him and he loved you, but that doesn't mean you understand how I feel. Cos even if you were in love, that doesn't prove that you won't meet someone else and fall in love again. I can't imagine that. But I suppose it's possible. And whatever Andy and Dad say, they've still got another dad, but mine's gone. Same as my mum, and they're never coming back. I'm all alone. No, you're not. You've still got me. You don't want me. Not really. You just think it's your duty till I'm old enough to leave school. I've never been much good at motherhood. So I suppose it's true sometimes. It's not as if you're easy to love. Then I see that look in your eye. 
That stubborn, cussed belief that you're right and everyone else is wrong. Could be Jack standing in front of me. It's not duty makes me want to look after you. It's the one way I can feel close to Jack. We both loved him. That could help both of us through this. But you can't take his place. Oh, my mum's. It's too late for that. This isn't a proper family anymore. And everyone will see that tomorrow when Andy can't be bothered to turn up to the funeral. And we'll find out if Victoria's proved right or wrong tomorrow at 7. Chandler and the team are struggling to find any leads and the killing isn't about to stop. Intense and thrilling. Whitechapel continues at 9. Before that, how long will the factory ladies stand on the doorstep wondering why Tony's not opened up? There's trouble at Mill. Corrie is next. <laughs>